What's good, everybody? <clears throat> Big Game James here with another session, man. And today is Carlos Watkins. Now, first thing I want to say is, uh, you know, I didn't even throw Carlos Watkins in the equation. I just looked over him. Uh, basically, was like, you know, he's just a rotational piece. I do think he's a rotational piece, but let me tell you something. One thing I like about him, Urban, and Basham, they're all active guys. They're active guys. I, I can't hate on activity, okay? You may not be the greatest, like the top tier, like dog out there for a defensive tackle or a player, but if you have a, a motor, and they said he had an inconsistent motor in college, but from what I see, he has a pretty consistent motor. And then when I looked at his rating in pro football focus and how he was lowly rated, I look at their scheme. To me, he's undersized playing right there. He's in the middle playing that zero, now one tech. He's undersized at his size, but he's active. He plays hard. He has good instincts. He has very good instincts down along the line of scrimmage. He's able to see that running back. Uh, once he get, engages with that offensive lineman, he's able to put his hands out and be able to watch where that running back is going and move that offensive lineman to get to that running back. He is very good at that. He is very, very instinctual with that. Uh, I think that's very good about him. Um, he is undersized in that scheme what in the Texans, but I don't think he, in the 4-3 it's going to be different. Uh, but I know I'm talking a lot, but uh, I didn't mean to disrespect you, Carlos Watkins. You are, you are, you, from what I see, you are, you are a motor player. It looks pretty consistent, and I do like that about you. Let's go ahead and look at some tape. And look at him coming down the line of scrimmage. Bam! Blowing it up. Let's see it right here. Playing that one. Boom. Slides down that line of scrimmage. Mm, makes that play on Derrick Henry. Back in the back. Let's see some more Carlos Watkins. Let's see what you're going to do with dog. Oh, strip fumble. Had to strip fumble on that last play. I think he gets the sack on this play. Let's check it out. We'll come back. Walking with the sack. You see him right here. He's playing more of that three. He's not really a good pass rusher to me, but I think he's good in that run game. Let's see him right here against these coats. Show up in his run game. Mm-hmm. Coach got a good offensive line too. Slide over to that one. Playing stout. I like it. This is the main thing I want to see right here. Showing up in this run game. Tired of getting killed in this run game. Look at that. He's good. He's extinct. He's very instinctual. That's what I like about him. Very instinctual down the long line of scrimmage. See that? I like those instincts. He was in that Bears backfield all game. Watch right here. Mm -hmm. Holding that down, keep that hand in that chest, keep him away. Make the penetration. Stop the seat again right here. Keep that hand up on him. Uh huh. Where you going? Put your ass down. Uh huh. I like that. Mm -hmm. Give me all this. No yards, dog. No yards. That's what I want to see. No yards. That's what I want to see. No yards. When I was coaching, man, and my uh, defensive line, we was always on defense. No yards. We was always screaming, no yards. You ever get a negative play, no yards. We was always screaming that. No yards. No yards. Yeah, we was always screaming that. No yards. Show up again. No yards. Uh-huh. Mm, good play right there. Way to hold that point of attack. No yards. That's what I like seeing. Penetrate that gap. Hold. Mm. That's what I want to see you do in Dallas, dog. Here is against Pittsburgh. He ain't a guy that's going to get you a lot of sacks. But, hey, I'll take it. Feel me? I'll take that, Carlos. I'll take that, Los. I'll take that. 
He only had two of them, but I'll still take it off. That was kind of a weak offensive lineman move, but I don't care. We'll still take the sack. I'm going to kind of end it on this play here with the Jaguars. They do a little reverse. Watkins gets back in the play. I'll say this about Watkins. <clears throat> he looks like he can... He, he looks like he's real instinctual along that line of scrimmage. Coming off that line of scrimmage, immediately seeing where the ball carrier is, putting his hands, extending his hands out, and being able to kind of read, walk, walk that offensive lineman down the line of scrimmage while he still be able to locate the ball carrier and still be able to make the play. I like that. Like I said, maybe he was not highly rated and pro football focused, and that's not the thing you should just go on. But because he was playing in that middle constantly at the zero, at the one, he was playing the three, he was playing all the way down the line of scrimmage. So, and he had a career high 11 starts this year. I think he had like 27 tackles, two sacks. I think he's a, a rotational player still, but a good rotational player if you're talking about effort, energy, and somebody who's gonna look like he's gonna play. I wanna play every down. Definitely wanna get more guys in the building, especially with this draft. Hopefully you get some dot guys in this draft that are really going to be dynamic and this guy can be a piece because when when those rotational pieces get the dynamic pieces around them they're better when they're the main guys their flaws and their warts show so hopefully the cowboys continue to get these dogs and have these guys like the brent urbans and the carlos Watkins and the terrell bashams who are role players but can play really good roles in the team when they have dogs on the team. So hopefully, you know, Gallimore continues to rise, Tristan Hill continues to rise, and hopefully they're hitting this draft because that's going to be ultra important because they're still lacking in this middle. And to me, these guys are role players and aren't upper echelon guys. But if you can get those dogs and put these guys around them, they play even better. So that's just kind of my thoughts on Carlos Watkins. Uh, I had to see the tape about him. Hadn't got to watch any tape. And he does look better than I thought. Um, but let's get some dogs around him so he can be even a better player as we go out on this right here. Another session. Coach J Film Day, if we want to say it. Game James, Severin Blue Nation, I'm out.